Not directly, but the impact of not knowing has caused a huge amount of distress and worry. The impact of not knowing whether you're going to continue to have the equivalent of a mobility allowance, the disability living allowance that funds a car, and the impact of not knowing whether they would decide to make me work ready and, and have to go and try and find work when I'm already doing a huge amount in the voluntary sector, which I'm led to believe by others might be useful. Also, I've had to go to work and, and, and I was going to work at the normal time. I would need more support from my personal assistant who already gets up at half past six to come to work. If she had to do that for me to be work ready, I think I would probably have to have her stay overnight, which would impact on the costs of the service that I would have to get would be far too costly. All of us in, with impairments in a community like Barnsley find that we're not very common, we're not commonly seen. Um, I do think that there was an upturn during the Paralympics for the whole country really, but generally there was an upturn about understanding and, and things, but, but I think that's faded. I don't know where where the public services are, uh, at, at least ones that help. Um, uh, all all my issues tend to surround like people like welfare rights saying, "Well, these are the laws. You've just got to do things the way the laws say." No, the support that I get is uh, more than I got before and um, the cuts came in which is a good thing I'm quite surprised at the amount of support that I do get uh, I have um, lost um, work uh, because of health uh, issues uh, from quite a time ago uh, and so uh, I've been reliant upon benefits for for uh, almost 20 years. Well, my benefits have been stopped completely now uh, because I'm finding it difficult uh, to fit the criteria that's set down by a law. Um, the benefits agencies are administering those uh, laws to the letter and because of the health issues, it's make it made it impossible for me now to get uh, um, any benefit. I have been affected by loss and reduction. The reduction part um, is because at one time I used to get full council tax benefit and now I have to pay £7 a fortnight out of my benefit and it's not a great amount that I get, so that's just another bill. Well, it, it's affected me because it's another worry. I've got to be able to find that money and um, as well as paying for everything else and it makes it harder. Um, I can't afford to go out socially anymore, which is making me my depression worse. Um, and it feels sometimes like I'm just stuck in house looking at four walls. I would be lost without telly, dogs and computer. The stress and the worry certainly has not helped. Uh, it means that if there's a crisis in my life, 
for example, the car doesn't operate in a way that I would like the opening and shutting device on the vehicle. When that goes wrong, and you're not sure whether your mobility allowance might actually be there in the future uh, to actually run the car, you think, oh, uh, I'm not sure that is worrying. And if there are rumours or facts going around that says that if you are a volunteer you will maybe not have your, your vehicle paid for but if you're in a paid job you will that is very very stressful coming up to a period now of winter and because i cannot afford heating my home is damp uh, wet in many places uh, and it does have a, a serious impact on my health the last two winters have been particularly harsh and uh, towards the end of those winters I, I have felt as though I wouldn't be making it into the spring uh, but I have uh, uh, but it does impact on my health. Yes I have noticed changes in my quality of life because uh, as I said in my previous answer I used to be able to go out socially and now that's all stopped simply because I don't have the financial uh, available to go out and enjoy myself really, which I miss. Why is it disabled people is getting that hard? This, this, can you tell us? Because the person that brought it out, he's been moved to another job. And uh, this is why I said, um, yeah, we should be asking the government. We should be asking. Assistant. We should have yeah, yeah. be asking the government. Because yeah. the two, this coalition, since you come in, they've done nothing. They've, I, I see in the dip where I've been, when I've been to, let's say, Rotherham and then Barnsley and that, in Sheffield and that, I see the buildings shut down, closed down. Mm. Yeah, I think there's a lot of that going on. Yeah. There's very little quality of life. Uh, what we have got now is that without um, uh, without money this is this society is set up that you, you need money to, to live and survive so I found it difficult to, um, uh, just just in everyday things buy new clothes you need clothes to go out uh, so my social life is is very poor uh, if it wasn't for the project that uh, I'm uh, uh, involved in uh, there would be no social life Examples of extra costs because of impairment. Uh, you might have to have extra shoes. You might wear, if you were walking, you might wear your shoes out more. You might rub your clothing more, they get worn. You might have to do more washing um, than the average person to have clean clothes and be well turned out. You might be given a quote for a repair to a vehicle that you really have to take because you've no other choice but have it done by the specialists. Uh, you probably might need to keep your house warm more than the average person might do. From day to day it varies, uh, but mostly um, I can't walk anymore. I used to be able to walk with two crutches, but I can't do that anymore. Uh, I can't bend. Pavements and steps were always a nightmare. I'm in a lot of pain, stiffness, get spasms, which are really, really painful. Um, so I'm having to take medication for that. And uh, it does make you miserable, really. Well... It's it's all right in some ways. Some ways it's a bit hard. Do you feel like you need some extra support to meet the, the needs? This is it. Um, with your I mean, I also have some support with Russell and Angela Gilroy, community nurse. Now they've said um, I can manage on my own and I'm doing really well, but. It's these cutbacks, the cutting back on things. Well, ultimately, 
the way I look at it, the only way you can have an effect on the world is is what you do at the time. And maybe in the future somebody's going to say, oh, she's not here now, but she used to do this and she did quite a good job with it. And as long as I can keep doing it and be valued or validated by doing it and people think I'm doing a reasonable job, the future will involve exactly what I'm doing now. Although I might need more support to do it. I mean, I hear things on the telly mm -hmm. and, me, and my sister do not want me to get worried, you see. I think that's what a lot of people are saying no. to us, that, you know, they're worried about things that they read mm -hmm. in the papers, read in the news, and there's no. No, not very good information out there about what, what the... Even this thing that's coming out, and the uh, number one, she came for the Department of Health Pension. Her sister says, wait well, a minute. I said, how do you know? I said, it could be a different government it could be in, in, two th in mm. 2015. She said, yeah. she looked at me, she said, what do you mean? I said, how do you know? The same college you're going to in. Mm. It could be somebody else you could be in. Mm. I said, so. So if the new government came in in 2015, what would you want them to do for disabled people? The first thing I would like them to do is scrub up bedroom tax. But I cannot that's, see it. That's the thing that's affecting uh, you most at the moment. I cannot, Amanda, I cannot see it. I cannot see it. Bleak, really. The future looks bleak because, as I said, it's all uncertainty. It's all up in the air. Um, nobody knows what's happening and when. And um, I'm one of these people that likes to know what's happening and when it's going to happen. Well, if we were just to rely upon government, uh, I see a bleak future. I don't think we're getting our money's worth out of government for the taxes that we pay. I think we're getting a, a raw deal. <laughs>